Hello everyone, this is chapter 4 problems. We are going to work on solving some of these problems in chapter 4. This is unit 2. So the answers for the first couple of questions, which are essay type, solution type questions, are provided in detail here. So for sure, please, after learning the material, go over these. So I'm going to get started with, because there are detailed solutions to these questions, I'm going to get started with the multiple choice, which starts from question four. Okay. So without further ado, I'm going to get started pretty fast. The linear regression equation looks like this. Okay. Y equals A plus B X. Okay. The following computer printout was obtained. Okay. So a couple of things that we're going to uh, look at. This is the parameter estimate for the intercept, which is a hat. And this is the parameter is estimate for the um, independent variable x. So that's b hat. So a hat is equal to this b hat. These are the standard errors of a hat and b hat, t ratios, and also p values. P values will give you marginal level of statistical significance. So for instance, this is statistically significant uh, at 0.08% level. So it's less than one, therefore 1%. Therefore it's significant at the highest level, 1%. This is statistically significant at 1.7% level. So this is statistically significant at 5% level. I'm just going over everything. So observations 18. So we had 18 data points. R square is 0 0.3066. That means the variation and why uh, x uh, helps explain 30.66 percent of that variation so having talked about these let's let's see what the question is asking us right so given the above information the parameter estimate of a indicates right so when you write this down it's going to look like this y hat is going to be 15.48 right plus uh it's not actually plus because coefficient estimate of Beta head is negative, so 21.36, negative 21.36x. Uh, so this means if x is 0, right, the, the intercept estimate basically tells you if x takes on the value 0, right, y is going to be equal to 15.48. So the correct answer is b. That was easy. Let's look at the... Uh, question number five so this is pretty I mean this is pretty straightforward I'm not going to go over this but okay I'll go over it <laughs> all right so look this is beta head right okay so which means if x let's say increases by one unit in English it will cause y to decrease by 21.36 units okay so x increases by 8.3 units, y increases by 1 unit. Absolutely not. Because we're looking at the marginal effect of x, 1 unit increase or decrease in x, impact of it on y, this coefficient gives you. x decreases by 21, no. y decreases by, no. So last one, if x decrease, a 10 unit decrease in x, okay, so x is decreasing by 10 units, so it's going to be, right, y equals a minus 21.36, okay, x, so if x decreases by 10 units, so if plug in negative 10 here, this thing becomes positive 213.6, so this will cause, if x decrease by 10 units, y will increase by 213.6 unit okay so correct answer is that let's go with question six same equation given the above information the critical value of t at one percent level of significance interesting so it's asking us to find t critical value we need a t table for this but what are the things we're looking at we are looking at 0.01 percent level of significance significance we're going to look at two-sided test right from table and also what's degrees of freedom okay degrees of freedom is n minus k so what is my n number of observations 18 minus k is the number of parameters to be estimated this is a 
and B, 2. So we're looking at degrees of freedom, 16, two-sided, okay? And also we're looking at 1% level of significance. So I'm going to take you two hours. PowerPoint slide, this is a T-table example, all right? So I'm going to draw here too, all right? So we're looking at the two tails. 1%, this is 10%, 5%, 1%. We're looking at this column, two-sided. And we're looking at 16 degrees of freedom intersection. It says 2.921, okay? Go back. So the critical value is going to be, if we go back, 2.921, correct answer is D, okay? Let's take a look at question 7. Same question. Given the information above, which of the following is correct at the 1% level of significance? Okay, we talked about this. P-value here is 0 0.008. This is less than 0 0.01. Okay, this is statistically significant at 1%. This number is not less than 1%. It's 1.7% 1 statistically significant. Go to the next highest, right? 1, 5, and 10. Anything between 1 and 5 will be 5% 5 statistically significant. Okay? All right. So, therefore, A is, A is statistically, A hat is statistically significant, but B is not. So, the correct answer is C. That was easy. Question 8 is, um... Okay, so this is very easy. I don't want to go over it, but I'm going to go over it. Okay, so given information, the value of R squared statistics indicates that we learned about this. 30.66% of the total variation in Y is explained by the regression equation. Okay, so this R squared tells you what percentage of the variation is explained by this regression equation. All right. I wasn't going to answer that, but I did it anyways. Number nine, given the above information, the exact level of significance of B hat is, ah, we look at the p-value. This is 1.71%. It shows you the exact level of significance. Boom. Number 10. Okay. So same question, similar, same numbers. Given the above information, if X is equal to 10, what's the predicted value of Y? This is super easy. Just plug in the uh, estimated parameters. So instead of A, put A hat, 15.48 minus 21.30. Hold on, I can't see it. I drew on top of it. 36 times X. So plug in 20 here, okay? So I'm going to pull a calculator. Okay, so Cortana came out. Okay, so, all right, I'm trying to find. Okay, I'm going to just type calculator. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're going to multiply 21.36 times times 20 okay so this is 15.48 minus this number right 427.2 427.2 so this is a negative number right multiply negative one okay oh it took number okay i'm just going to do it from the beginning delete all right so it's going to be this one, negative 427, negative 427.2 plus, oh, plus 15.48. Okay, so it's going to be negative 411.72.